What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Gary with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we are going to be playing one of the very best decks, if I can find it, very best decks in the game. There she is, which is Blade Dancer and showing off how to actually play this deck. Okay, my Blade Dancer is only level 8. My nice statue, I believe, is level 8. My gadget is only level 1. Uh, so I'm usually pretty hesitant to play Blade Dancer, but we're going to be trying it out today and seeing if we can find a little bit of uh, good luck in our RNG endeavors and, uh, and maybe find some wins along the way. We do have Portal Keeper in here, so that's great. Night Statue, Blade Dancer should be tons of damage output with Dryad and Scrapper to get those cards pretty nicely leveled up but if you guys are enjoying this video make sure that you are subscribed to the channel like the video and also check out those memberships because we got a lot of cool perks that i know you guys will enjoy including the ongoing raffle for you to uh to you for you to be eligible to get your very own mallard mug all you gotta be is a rare member uh so definitely check those out when you get a chance but so far pretty good we're actually gonna go for the um darker tiles if you guys don't know there's actually light tiles and dark tiles kind of like in star wars light and dark right um and if you put all your blade dancers on dark tiles you're going to have fewer blade dancers it's going to be seven rather than eight blade dancers but all of your blade dancers are going to be touching uh a knight statue so that's really really great so that's what we're going to be aiming to do today we'll do that for right now uh we might as well get that guy down there get him up one time i don't mind my board really at all move that guy there and we can kind of continue on like this but like i said i really don't play blade dancers hardly at all and uh and i'm gonna see if we can actually show this off a little bit let's just do a little bit of that um kind of weird i guess we'll just do this okay i'm gonna uh let's eat that guy for now let's do that i think our board is all right oh actually it's gonna be a little bit ugly let's do this do we take this out i'll do that do that oh it's already a rank two. Oh, i thought it was a rank one it was already a rank two but we did end up taking it out so i'll take that any day of the week and we're going up against a cultist deck which i've been really thoroughly enjoying running cultist recently and uh hopefully we can find a little bit of a win so we actually got a guy there let's uh oh i guess that doesn't really matter i'm just gonna do this beautiful another knight statue would be nice i'll just do that but we're we're starting to build our board up you can see we've already got one two three four five blade dancers and now we can continue. There's six. We can just kind of continue chipping away. So we're actually going to do this here because we don't want to get stuck with all these random rank two portal keepers. That's the worst thing that can happen if you just have a bunch of random portal keepers that aren't helping you out at all. So we're going to try and actively avoid that. But let's just level up some of these guys here. Now it's a rank three. For some reason, I'm having a hard time seeing that one. Must be the lighting. I have no idea what's going on. But it should be A-OK. -okay. We're fighting through a little bit of lag, it looks like. But not the end of the world. All right, so let's just do this. Okay, I can just do that. Digging for another Knight Statue. Or uh, Portal Keeper, rather. Nope, not even Portal Keeper. Digging for another... All right, so let's do this. Blade Dancer is what I was trying to say. We'll get this guy up. We'll switch him once. And we'll eat that. Eventually. Shouldn't have any issue against Warlock. There we go. And now our board is completely set up. Our board is completely set up. And the one other nice thing, other than all of the... Because there is a, a debate between whether you should do seven blade dancers or eight blade dancers. I'm going to side with uh, only seven blade dancers. A, you have them all on night statues, just like I said. But B, 
you also have a little bit more room to maneuver your scrappers so you can continuously level people up and that's really really important but we are fighting through some lag you can really see it right there um but we're still in a really good spot his board looks great he's not using scrapper either so what that means to me he does have uh bombardier in there but the fact that he's not using scrapper means that at a certain point he's not going to have a ton of moves to make and he's actually going to have to risk uh messing up his board for trying to continue to level things up which is great for us um we're going to take any uh <laughs> positive that we absolutely can and we do have dryad in this deck so not only are we eating things with scrapper and leveling things up but if dryads pop up we've still got a couple of rank ones like this knight statue that's being stubborn that we can that we can rank up as well but also if you guys want to catch me live i do live stream we're doing two days a week right now um, on Thursdays, we live stream at noon Eastern Standard Time. And on Fridays uh, for, uh, for Rocket League. And then Fridays, we are live streaming at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for Rush Royale. Right now, both on YouTube and Twitch. But we are going to be making that switch over to Twitch um, relatively soon. So make sure that you're following us on Twitch so you guys don't miss out on those live streams when they happen happen it's always a good time you always get a really nice community hanging out playing with me playing against me talking about all my bad plays gotta do what you gotta do let's max out this knight statue because there's no reason to wait and uh and let's see because he does have the only slow in the game okay he has not only does he have bombardier but he also has uh trainer which we don't have either, okay? We don't have any slow whatsoever helping us take anything out. So this, this Bedlam is so important for us to take out immediately. And let's see, 1.5, it's going to be close. I don't think he'll take his out. We took ours out, and that should be... Oh, he's stunned, though. <sighs> he took his out as well. So his Bombardier saved him right there. He had about 1.1 mil. I had 1.5. So he's actually taking things out quicker than me, which is the Blade Dancer single target versus him using Cultist for the multi target. So we got to keep an eye on that for sure. But let's continue to try and level things up. We need to, we really need to push ahead in this wave. And uh, that's the only way we're going to win because we've got no slow. And Blade Dancer honestly falls off a little bit late game, especially against banner lords because of all that crit that uh, isn't affecting banner lords so we took that guy out finally which is good at this point there's no uh -oh, a little bit of lag no point waiting for um that dryad to try and do something but i think we did end up claiming the victory here there it is hit him with a good game definitely a little bit of of lag there but uh we hit him with a good game. We did take that victory and checking out the damage. Yeah, we, we're out doing him a little bit here and there, but uh, but still a pretty close game. So guys, that's the best way that you could use this deck. We're going to jump into another one. Of course, this may very well be the deck that we're going to be trying to push with um, for the maybe the rest of the season. Maybe just maybe the rest of the season because it's one of the best decks perfect example we're actually playing against an exact mirror match right now uh but this guy's got the new hero which i don't even know what the i don't even know what this guy does what's it called mary it's just called mary i think super weird um but we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do and maybe just maybe we can find a victory here as well but i hope you guys are having a fantastic morning evening night wherever you are around the world thank you guys for hanging out chilling by the beach there's nothing nothing better than hanging out by the beach i guess it would be better if uh maybe if we could actually find a blade dancer he only has one blade dancer neither of us are running um harlequin so we can't copy out blade dancers but i don't have any to copy right now anyway so that doesn't really matter um but since we don't have uh snowflake in here early waves can be really really scary so you got to be careful. Let's just do that right off the bat. At least we found a couple that's super important. 
and that might be enough for us to hold off puppeteer but we'll have to see i might actually combine out this way see if we can get another blade dancer that'd be really really good let's get this guy up one more time i really want to take out this puppeteer because puppeteer moving us left or right is just super unfortunate it's really hard to come back from uh early stages which we just don't want to deal with whatsoever so we're probably gonna have to combine out some portal keepers for for that to not happen so let's keep on trying to get some more units if we can get like three um blade dancers on this guy i how did i know that was gonna happen let's just let's get rid of that guy uh we got to get rid of this guy hit our gadget a little bit of lag i'll do that not ideal i'm gonna do that all right take it out please okay okay we took it out we still only have two blade dancers he's got two blade dancers as well i'm just gonna do that right away because we don't we don't want to have two knight statues we don't want to have leveled up units I'm going to try my best not to level up this portal keeper. So let's just be careful about who we actually buy. Actually, I'm going to move. Yeah, I'll keep him there, actually. And we're going to just keep on pushing here. I guess we'll get our blade dancer up one time. He now has three blade dancers. That's not fair. How does he have three and I have two? What's going on here? That means the next unit I get has to be blade dancer. Isn't that how that works? Blade dancer. Nope, guess that's not how it works. Um, I could combine out my portal keepers. I'm not quite desperate yet, but we're getting there fast. We're really getting there fast, so we're going to have to see. 44 seconds. A little bit unfortunate. We got a million dryads. Okay, we have to do that. We got to do this. Wow. That is horrible. Uh, we got to do this. This is the only thing we can do. <sighs> Come on, man. Nothing we could do. RNG gods were against us from the start. 10 seconds. We're trying to fight it off. What are you going to do? Sometimes it just goes like that. Hit him with a good game. Let's check the stats out. Nothing impressive. He had three blade dancers. We could not find a third blade dancer. And we're going for seven. We're not even going for three. We're going for seven. So really unfortunate right there. But let's jump into one more game. Try to cap this off with a victory uh, to finish this video off. And hopefully this time we can actually find a couple of blade dancers. Because that would make this video a little bit more interesting. But you can see right away, guys, we're playing against the exact same deck again, okay? This deck is running rampant all over the meta, and I just wanted to show the deck off so that if you have all these cards, if you're having trouble, um, you could probably make a couple of substitutions here and there, but I wanted to show you kind of how I play it, what squares you're putting on, and I hope this is helpful for you guys um, in playing this deck yourselves. I, I would think it would be, but you never really know. So let's just move this guy over right away. We do already have two Blade Dancers, so I'll take that. I'll do that. I'll move that guy over. I'm going to level him up. We got Puppeteer again to start this game off. We're going to come down here. We're going to go over here. Um, Let's keep chugging away. Oh, we actually have... I didn't realize we had three Knight Statues. And let's see, we have two Blade Dancers again. Let's see if the the RNG gods, the Rush Royale gods, can bless us with some better luck this game. Because that last one was ugly. Come on, baby. Don't do me like that. We found, what did we find? We found Rank 3 Portal Keeper, Rank 4 Portal Keeper, and then our... Our scrapper leveled them up immediately. The portal keepers. That's just that's just hard. That's just terrible, terrible luck. 25 seconds. He's got four blade dancers. He, he might have combined out a little bit. Um, I'm just going to do this. 
Blade Dancer. Okay, so I think we're okay um, now. I'll just move him there, even though that's not great. But I think we're in the clear for this puppeteer at least. Let's level them up. We're in a better spot. We got four when we only had two in the last game. And we took out Puppeteer the last time. So now we both have four. Um, and I think we can just kind of con continue through this. See, no problem there. And uh, I want to move this guy back over here. So we just need one more unit there. And then we can kind of continue. So even if it's a knight statue, I'm going to switch it. It's not a knight statue. We're going to switch it. And then we're going to put it over. Uh, let's actually do this. And that, okay, that's beautiful. And we're gonna start doing this. Go here, we can go. Don't exactly know the best method here. We can do that and do that, beautiful. That and then that. And then one more here. Warlock is coming up. We can eat that guy. And now our board is perfect. His board is also perfect. Uh, so let's just max out all our units. And this is going to be a battle, guys. It's going to come down to card levels, unit levels, uh, crit damage. I don't know how much crit he has. If I had to bet, I think I have more crit. His Blade Dancer might be a higher level, though. So it's like... If I, you know, like if he has a level 10 blade dance or I have a level eight, but I've got 2000 crit and he's got 1800, something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of the way this game is looking, but we're going to just keep on pushing along and see if we can actually find this win. Trying to get our knight statue up next. I think that leveling up these cards here are just super, super important and, uh, and continuing to push our gadget as well but i don't expect at all like i said my gadget is level one i do not expect to get my gadget to have the active avail active ability available i don't expect that to happen it doesn't happen in any of my games just because blade dancer doesn't last that long we're gonna win or lose by the time that ability is available and it's a little unfortunate i don't really like that about gadget but i think the passive buff of just a little bit extra damage is quite useful so that's the reason that it's in this deck so let's start that off right away um again these dryads are going to be huge for us level three on a square is massive he has he has three amulet squares so that that means right off the bat that his gadget probably has a higher level than mine i mean mine's only level one so the only other possibility other than him having the same level as mine is higher. Spamming away. But I think we're doing a pretty good job. I, I haven't really taken a peek at like what our card levels look like. He has a rank 4, a rank 5, a rank 2, and a bunch of rank 3s. We've got a rank 1, two rank 1s, two rank 4s. A couple rank threes. I don't know. At this point, put it in the comments, fellas. Who do you think's win the who who do you think wins this game? Because it's really, really close. And honestly, if the games are this close, I typically say that I lose because I usually don't have the card levels or the crit to actually overcome a lot of these close games, which is unfortunate. But it's the reality, so what are you going to do? Just going to keep on pushing here. That's all we can do, right? Let's keep going here. Get our gadget as fast as we can. I'm spam tapping on my board. There it is. Uh, we got another one here. Let's do that guy. Why not? Tribunal is unfortunate. He's taking things right out at the portal. They're getting a little further on our board. So now I'm thinking Tribunal is going to hit us. But Tribunal is not going to hit him. Which is super ugly. Come on, man. Fight back towards the portal. We're really losing that bad. Look at the difference. 10 seconds. Oh, my Lanta. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Fight back to the portal. I think we are making a little headway. Four seconds. Come on. Do we take this out before it hits? Nope. Oh, so that's a GG. 100% this is a GG. I took a hit. He didn't. His card level's... 
gotta be better. He's got two rank five knight statues where I've got two rank two knight statues. So I don't even know what else I could have done here, but we're definitely losing. Uh, it's so unfortunate. We need one more unit so I can move him around. We're losing traction so fast. Okay, we can just eat that. We can eat that. Come on, baby, fight back. Gorgon could be interesting. Not really. And there is an L. Hit him with a good game. He does have a level 3 gadget. Level 9 Blade Dancer. I have a level 8. Uh, and he actually, I actually have a higher knight statue than him as well. But his board definitely looked better than mine. Maybe he had an easier time setting it up in the beginning and it was more RNG. But guys, you can see. All right, this deck is all over the place. If you didn't know how to play it, hopefully this was a little bit helpful to you not really how we wanted to cap off this video but that is going to be the end of this youtube video guys and if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video